What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Ellicottville Brewing Company, and they're out of Ellicottville, New York, and this is their Black Raspberry Truffle Blonde Ale, and this is a part of their Platters Chocolate Factory series. So this is a Blonde Ale that I believe is brewed with the flavors of Platters Black Raspberry Custard. It comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. And this can is exactly two weeks old. So we have another beer from Ellicottville here in their uh, Platters Chocolate Factory series. I did their um, Orange Chocolate Blonde Ale a couple years ago. And then I recently did their Barrel Aged um, Irish Stout with Coffee uh, a couple months ago, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's a fun series. Now, I've mentioned this before in other reviews, but when it comes to uh, Platters uh, Chocolate Factory, um, I've been eating their stuff since I was a kid. Easter, always get stuff from uh, Platters. And right now, as we speak, uh, Platters Chocolate Factory is in North Tonawanda, New York, and I am about seven minutes away from them and uh, every four to six weeks I go there and I get some of their custard or ice cream and just hang out. It's a beautiful place, delicious chocolate. And yeah, so I'm thinking that this one is gonna taste kind of like their black raspberry custard, as it says on Instagram that was brewed with it. And that's the only information I could find about this one. There's nothing really else. And I've had their black raspberry uh, custard quite a few times. I prefer the orange chocolate, but the black raspberry is pretty good as well. They do weekly uh, special custards that are pretty tasty, but the black raspberry and the orange chocolate are usually, uh, I think, staples. I think you can get them all the time. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. The Blonde Ale base I always found curious, just because like you wouldn't think a Blonde Ale base should go with this. You'd think maybe a stout or something, but... Yeah, we're gonna see how this one is. We'll give it a pour like that, not pour it all in or right this second, this moment, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's a little bit of a darker Blonde Ale. This has kind of more of like a honey orange color. Uh, kind of looks like one of those uh, old school, like hazy um, IPAs you'd see from like a bigger, uh, you know, brewery of some sort. Um, hold it up to the light. Yeah, it totally looks like that. Had about a half finger of an off-white, uh, colored head that is now dissipated to almost a thin film. Um, well, yeah, it has a haziness to it. I can see the shadow through the glass, but it can't make it out. So yeah, it has a haziness to it. Let's get a nose. Yeah, it smells like black raspberry. Did I spill a little bit or is that water? I don't know, I think I spilled a little bit. Or I think that actually is water from the glass. <laughs> Yeah, so it smells like it smells like black raspberry custard. Um, again, if you've ever had black raspberry custard, maybe a local place by you does it. It just has that black raspberry kind of kind of candied um, custard kind of nose. And then I'm starting to get a little bit of chocolate as well. So I guess it is a truffle because black raspberry. Um, it, it'd be like if if they did a black raspberry black raspberry truffle in custard form. That's kind of what I'm getting. Not really getting the base beer. It's just the black raspberry truffle. So yeah, I, I wasn't getting the truffle part, but now there's a distinct, like, sweeter milk chocolate vibe. This honestly smells like you have a, you're going, maybe you opened a box of black raspberry truffles. That's kind of what the nose is. It smells pretty sweet. I'm hoping it's not as sweet as the nose is indicating, but I'd be bullshitting you if I told you this doesn't smell like a black raspberry truffle, because it totally does. So yeah, anyway, I want to get into it. Cheers, everyone. It's sweet. Oh, I like that. It has like a blonde L finish to it. That's interesting. That's nice. Um, hmm. Buying this is like medium body at 6.5. I think that's fine. The mouthfeel has a decent carbonation. I'd say it's lower side of moderately carbonated. It has a nice smooth kind of sensation on the palate. By the mouth, they are nice. I will say this is not crazy sweet. I thought it was gonna be like overly sickly sweet or something. It's not. I think that blonde ale kind of finish was really what, this is kind of different, but I think a blonde ale finish kind of what wins me over and makes me enjoy this one more than I think I would have if it was just that black raspberry truffle kind of flavor. So. The omnipresent dominating characteristic on the palate is black raspberry truffle. So 
Again, it's like they took their black raspberry custard, and I know that flavor, and that's what I'm getting in here, but you drizzled some kind of like fudge on it, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. It's it's like a sweeter milk chocolate mixed in with a black raspberry flavor. There's nothing else on the palate for about, I don't know, three quarters of it other than that flavor which is why it's saved by the Blondale finish. Like a lot of times I, when I review a beer, if you watch the channel, you know that like I do in stages, front of the palate, middle palate, back palate. A lot of times I get the malt character in the front of the palate. I get the hop character in the back. Middle of the palate can be a whole host of different things. This though is like the first 75% of the palate is black raspberry truffle. And that's kind of what they're going for. But on the finish is where I get this kind of grainy. I shouldn't say grainy. I could say... It's a multi, like kind of um, biscuity kind of blonde ale finish. There's even a little bit of like a um, a slight like earthy hop character, but that's right on the finish, which is interesting to me because I usually don't get that. It's it's a different kind of it's a different kind of feeling on the palate than I'm normally accustomed to. So it's kind of interesting. Six point five percent, you really can't taste it. I would say this: it's a good novelty beer. Um, as I drink this, it's becoming a little bit, I guess the flavor is quickly growing old on me. I'm about a, maybe what, a fourth to a third of the way through this. And each sip, it's a nice sip, right? And I like that blonde ale finish. This is a hundred percent one and done beer for me. That said, I do enjoy it. And I think they did it. Put it this way. If you buy something that says Black Raspberry Truffle Blondale, I don't think they missed on this one. Are there things that could be better on this one? Yeah, I think this doesn't have almost any bitterness on it. If anything, a very mild bitterness. There's a semi-dry finish. So it definitely leans sweeter, right? So I'd like to see a little bit more of a bitterness or dryness to this one. But the Black Raspberry Truffle flavor they nailed. You get the Blondale on the finish. And... I mean, stylistically, I would give this like a straight on 4.5 out of 5. Like they, they've done a pretty good job of uh, nailing the flavor of this beer. Um, personal preference, though, I'm going to go much lower only because I'm going to drink the rest of that. But I'm 100% one and done. And if my preference, if I had a preference, I would like to split this with somebody. I'd like 8 ounces of this instead of 16 because I think um, as I get down to the last 3 or 4 ounces, it's just going to... I think that, again, the flavors are already getting kind of old, right? By the end of the can, it's definitely going to be played out for me. And on top of that, I think the, the sweetness and that lack of bitterness is going to kind of, um, you know, rear its ugly head. And I'm going to be like, eh, I don't probably want to drink the last couple ounces of it. But it's still pretty good. If you're here in the West New York area or you can get Ellicottville stuff and you see this, give it a go. So Black Raspberry Truffle Blondale, a part of their Platters Chocolate Factory series from Ellicottville. I'm going to give this a high 375. I'm going to go 3.85 out of 5. I think this is pretty damn good. Um, again, if you like Black Raspberry or you enjoy Black Raspberry Truffles and you want to give this a go and you can get your hands on it, give it a go. I mean, especially if you can buy a single price point isn't too bad on it, which we'll talk about in a second. So yeah, 3.85 out of five price point, $14.99, a four pack here in Buffalo, New York, where I bought it. It could be a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive where you see it, but you're talking just under, you know, like $3.75 a can. That's a fine point, price point to pay for something that's 6.5% uh, with that flavoring and everything. It's not a bad price. And availability, Ellicottville. Um, I know they get distro outside of New York at this point. I don't know if this series specifically gets outside of New York. So if you're outside of New York State and you see this one, post in the comment section and let me know if you did get this one. If you've had this one before, post in the comment section and let me uh, know because as I uh, review this one, there's literally one check-in and on tap for this beer. A single check-in. So um, this is really new. Like I said, exactly two weeks old is the Candon date. So yeah, I haven't seen anybody say anything about this one. But like I said, I think they did a good job with it. For me personally, need to see a little bit more dryness or bitterness uh, to kind of get it into like the four out uh, of five range. But for what this beer is, they did a pretty fucking fantastic job. So good job to Ellicottville. I'll always probably buy anything within their Platters uh, Chocolate Factory series because I love Platters. And usually they sound pretty good. So Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review and another uh, West New York Wednesday. Next week, I think I'm going to review a beer for more, uh, from Mortalis because 
A little bit of news from Mortalis recently. Some great news for me specifically, not anybody in the Buffalo, New York area, but we'll talk about it next Wednesday when I review a beer from them. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.